Exodus 31 and verse 17. The Bible says, It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. He gave unto Moses, who he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony. The passage there tells us that Sabbath was given as a sign and then the verse 17 says because in six days God created the heavens and the earth. Sabbath was a celebration, a commemoration of creation. Our next passage of consideration will be Deuteronomy 5 as we enter our worship hour in this divine hour experience. Deuteronomy chapter 5 verses 12 to 15. Deuteronomy 5, 12 to 15. Keep the Sabbath day to sanctify it, as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee. Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, ox, ass, cattle, stranger within thy gates, neither thy manservant, thy maidservant, may rest as well as thou. Verse 15. And remember that thou was a servant in the land of Egypt, and that the Lord thy God brought thee out thence through a mighty hand and by a stretched out arm. Therefore the Lord thy God commanded thee to keep the Sabbath day. In Exodus 31 verse 17, we, we read that Sabbath was a commemoration and celebration of creation that was the number one purpose of the celebration of the Sabbath day. Deuteronomy 5 verse 15 tells us God commands, He says, you are a servant, I delivered you is why I ask you to come and I command you to come and celebrate the Sabbath day. Sabbath is celebrated because of creation. Sabbath is celebrated because of our redemption and lastly Isaiah 66. Creation and redemption, two purposes of the celebration of the Sabbath day. Isaiah 66, as we get into this re-Genesis experience. Isaiah 66, verse 22. Isaiah 66, verse 22. For as the new heavens and the new earth, if you really pay attention to that word new in the Old Testament Hebrew, it's actually the word renew or regenesis if you'd like to call it for as the regenesis heavens and the regenesis earth which i will make shall remain before me saith the lord so shall your seed and your name remain and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me saith the lord the bible gives us at least three amazing reasons for the celebration of the sabbath day we celebrate the sabbath because of creation we celebrate sabbath because of redemption finally we celebrate sabbath because of regeneration god bless you all let us sing holy 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 we'll be singing the first and the last stanza <laughs> 